Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great day. Well, we have an unbagging, which means we have a review. Let's see who this is from. Oh, we have a little package here. It's oozing out. Whoops. Get a hold of everything. Alright, I'll be right back. Hey, this package is from VIP Cross Stitch, and it's going to be in two parts, so this will be part one, part two will be next week. So let's see what we're doing this week. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Put that over there. Well, I see it comes with a little tear package. You got a threader. You have five needles and you have a thimble yay let's get to the picture if I can since there wasn't one on the front we have one on the actual chart and I will put a picture here all right so as you can see it's a rooster on a front porch it is an 11 count and it is 40 by 50 it's 148 by 191 and it does have the product number on your your uh, chart it's one of those shiny pieces of paper very big very easy to read does come with instructions down here like some of the joy Sundays do but I think it's going to be beautiful just look at those summer flowers sitting on that porch and the lovely leaves and the hanging flowers flower pots and flower oh more flowers it's just it says summer all over now this has 42 colors nice big key this key will match the key that is on the actual canvas and all of it matches it does have kind of a color strip here it's kind of faded but this part isn't too faded so I mean you can see everything and it's nice and big I'm glad they are printing these bigger now it's just absolutely lovely so let's get this folded back up here and we'll set it over there and take a look at the threads it's just had so many beautiful colors, I just had to get it. Some extra threads. I'm going to save that to keep all the threads in. We have some lovely cocoa brown, if you will. It's 3862. There are six of those in there. Very lovely. Oh dear. You know what? This one is accounted. Yeah, I don't know how I missed that. But uh, it is was thirteen seventy six. Yeah, this will take a hot moment. Look at all those beautiful, beautiful colors. Yeah, I'm not real pleased that it's accounted. I'll, I'll have to go back and make sure it said like it was counted. But yeah, just beautiful. Look at those that chartreuse like green. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Mm. Look at all those blues and purples. Gorgeous. Just beautiful. Look at that blue, that royal. It's like a peacock blue, if you will. Then we have some more. Ooh, we have some. Five five five. I mean five five zero. Oh. Yep. Hmm. This will be a piece of work. Yay! Surprise! It's accounted, but I will look it up and make sure that it says it was accounted, and I just missed that fact. Just beautiful. There's no sticker on here. Uh, you know that says that uh, the uh, product number on it. There is a sticker here but it's all in Chinese so I don't even know if I'm looking at it the correct direction 
Yeah, surprise, surprise, surprise. Make sure there's nothing else hanging fire here so I can wrap all these beautiful threads together. We'll see. No wonder the the uh, thing was so... What do you call it? The, the pattern was so big? Yeah, let's take a look at the canvas. Not much to look at, though, is there? We'll see. I don't think I've had a counted from them, but it does have your your key right here. Just absolutely beautiful. Very easy to read. Nice dark numbers. Nice dark symbols. And they're about a quarter inch a piece. Let's see how big this canvas is. This might not be too hard to do in counted cross stitch. We'll have to see. Might do something new and different. You never can tell. Let's see. It looks like um, 17 and a quarter. Oh, the whole thing. The whole thing. I need the whole thing. Sorry. The whole piece is mm, 50 and a half by... 41 so it's supposed to be a 40 by 50 the actual picture is 34 and a half 34 and a half which is almost it's a little over 13 and a half by about 17 and a half or 44 so yeah Yee, scary. It is, um, what do you call it? Surged all the way around. It is not blocked out in squares, unfortunately. That would have been so much nicer. Let me take a look here at this bottom. But you can see all the symbols really, really well. So maybe uh, we'll give this a shot. Maybe. Maybe, baby. We'll have to see. Yeah, I'm a little upset that that isn't a pre-stamped. Uh, yeah, pre and let's see what else we have. Well, I decided to get another one of these little embroidery things. Yeah, I had plans that maybe I'd start this, but I think the other's kind of looking looking better we'll see so this little embroidery kit was 483 comes nicely packaged doesn't have a hoop but that's okay these come really nicely packaged Let's see if I can just pull everything out and lay that ouch aside has a lovely little instruction booklet and it tells you oh my goodness there's beading in this <coughs> you know what uh, stitches you're going to use and what the color is for this and that it's all laid out very nicely let's flip it over shows you how to do an outline stitch and a leaf stitch satin stitch and a daisy stitch and here's all your colors and they're on a card okay just wanted to make sure everybody was you know it that was all set up does have instructions in English English so that's cool but it does at least tell you the uh, the colors and everything and what stitches you're supposed to use be different I don't know if I'm quite brave enough for all this and like I said it comes with a few beads they're gonna go in the center of these flowers all the flowers so you have some little tiny yellow seed beads there are three needles in there you have a beading needle which is a very very long one and two embroidery needles if you will 
I would probably use my own needle for the embroidery part. I don't know. I can't use a long needle. And most of my, uh, like my 28 size needles, it may or may not work for this. I'd, I'd have to try it out, but we'll try. But I think they're thin enough is where I was going with the, uh, the beads. I've used them on different beading projects. So let's take a look at those beautiful colors. Look at them for those flowers. Aren't those awesome? Just absolutely beautiful. Look at those greens. Hmm. Oh, did I tell you how much I love DMC thread? Just love the colors and the how vibrant they are. They're just absolutely beautiful. And it does tell you um, how many strands to use. Let's see here. Basically, you're using two strands for everything, I think. Yeah. But it does say down here, on the figures, numbers stand for serial numbers of threads, and letters stand for stitches. Two strands means stitching with two strands. So right beside, you know, what it is, it says three, okay, there's three strands for the outline, and two for a leaf stitch, and two for the satin stitch, so, and uh, three strands for your daisy stitch, because you kind of want them to show up. So let's take a look at the little canvas. It's a little itty bitty one. It does have kind of a salvage edge over here, but it's very nicely printed. And this is on uh, some kind of muslin, I believe. It doesn't, let me look, say, hmm. I was looking to see if it said what kind of material it was, but I'm not seeing anything anywhere. No, there's nothing on the front. So, yeah. It's just beautiful, and I like how they print them. They're very nice. And look like they're very easy to, to follow. We're going to put beads right down here, too. So, just beautiful. And it does show in color what they look like when you sew it on and where to put the beads. And then you wash this, and this pattern is going to go away. So that works as well. Let's fold everything together here. See if I can put it back in the box so that nothing... Well, it's kind of an envelope box, but it works, and it keeps everything in place put that in there that is if I can get it back there I'm gonna put the the beads in case it should pop open for any reason just push it all back in there and cover it up I don't think there's a I'm gonna add a little piece of tape just so it doesn't poof out you know before we get ready to to do anything with it but see it's a nice little envelope kind of heavy-duty so yeah, and I'm taking it that that's the product number. I'm not real sure. All right, and I told you how much that one was, right? And we'll be back, and we're going to start that count across stitch and see how it goes. Give me a sec. All right, I'm back, and I did get one of my 28 needles. Because that big one just was not going to cut it. And I took my hoop out of my, uh, off my stand. I thought it would be better. I have to look here. Where is the dark green? I'm looking. The leaves are what is done in the next color. So all these, I was looking to make sure that all this was... done you know in this color so while I'm attempting to do embroidery for about the first time and god I can't even remember when yeah 
I'll tell you about VIP cross stitch. And they have beaded cross stitch and embroidery, and they have counted cross stitch, as we saw, and uh, pre stamped cross stitch. Um, let me see. They also have some crafts that you can do, you know, like, um, oh, like the bookmarks and the pillows and, um, also, what do you call those things? Banners? Is that the right thing to say? Yeah. crafts but they do not have um what do you call it diamond painting just cross stitch only so that's cool not not cr just cross stitch but they have needle arts if you will jeez and no diamond painting or paint by number that i know of Boy, it's been a hot moment since I've done that. And I do like my my hoops. They uh, do hold everything nice and tight. Now I'm going to have to turn this. I had it in there the first time. And... Couldn't figure out which direction I needed to start. I'm using a 28 needle. Regular cross stitch needle that I use. They call them dapper straight needles, but I guess that works. Because it's all I've ever used for my... Uh, counted cross stitch but yeah I just decided I I couldn't get into that counted cross stitch and oh my goodness yeah maybe another day This little pattern doesn't look like it's too hard to do, and it was only five dollars. And there's basically, well, there's three or four different stitches in here, including a satin stitch, back, not back stitch, satin stitch, outline stitch, leaf stitch, and if so on a few beads. Like I said, there's only about 25, 30 of them. But they're going to go in the center of each one of these flowers. It's been a while. I used to do embroidery all the time. Back in the day, before I ever... Well, I was doing some of the... What do you call them? <coughs> Pillowcase kits and dresser scarf kits. And they weren't real involved, you know, not at all. I Actually, I was at the uh, thrift store the other day with my daughter, when I was out with my daughter and granddaughter, and saw some of those kits that have the, uh, the quilt squares that you uh, cross-stitch on. Holy cow. I haven't seen them in forever. I don't know what they even wanted for them. I just left them there. I figured somebody else could work on that if they so desired. It wasn't something I was going to take on. And those X's on those patterns, they look so big after doing, you know, uh, counted cross stitch. I was like, mm, no. Was not in my repertoire. Come on out of there. 
I'm trying not to go across this because it's going to be very light. So I'm watching where I end my thread and where I go over on my thread. Where's my... Speaking of threads... But hopefully there'll be enough thread for everything. In there, and I'm using three strands on this. What do you call it? On um, outline stitch. I know this isn't so, something that I ordinarily do, but hey, it works. Every once in a while, you just got to do something a little different, a little outside of the box. I oh, know. I'm trying to get my, it's been a moment, so I'm trying to get my stitches close together if I can. But this shouldn't take too terribly long to work on. What else do they have? They have lots of accessories, which I like for, you know, all your embroidery and cross stitch needs. And I believe they even sell beads. So if you need extra beads for anything, or if you want to do a, what do you call it, a separate project. Hang on, let's push it way too far. Okay, there you go. Now you can watch me stitch. I'm so sorry. It's nice material that this is on. Like I said, when it gets done, you just wash it and all this markings, if there's any markings showed up in between. And they have lots of kits, you know, cross-stitch kits for all different levels of stitchers, cross-stitch and embroidery. If I could just get a hold of this stupid needle. Come here. I was looking, I don't know if they have a, uh, they do do customs, but I don't know if they have like a separate Joy Sunday section. Most stores that I do reviews for do, but for this one in particular, I'm not real sure. And they usually have like buy so many, get one free type things all the time and extra deals on uh, shipping, you know. There you go. Yeah, I can still do this. Amazing, but true. So it won't take long to go around there and do all them. But I am going to get rid of my thread there. Because I don't want to traipsy it all the way up. It's like, because next place is way over here somewhere. But that is how you do that. So I'll keep you abreast of ouch, how, you know, I do things and that kind of thing. Well, thank you, VIP Cross Stitch, for sending me these beautiful kits, regardless that one of them is accounted. And I'm not real thrilled. So, yeah, but this is turning out really nice. Uh, I'll let you know how that gets carried away and gets along. And thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. 
and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.